Hey you guys, welcome back to another Kimball's Corner. Are you tired of me yet? I hope not, cause we still got quite a ways to go. What are we like, a, a fourth of the way done? Something around there. Oh, uh, well, okay, right here. Number nine, we're on number nine, season. So uh, yeah, we are going to paint our favorite season of the year. Mine just so happens to be autumn because I love all the colors. And I love that it's cooler temperatures, and I love that the bugs are going away, most importantly. So I pulled out the uh, Jane Davenport jelly plate. Uh, I got my Liquitex gesso, because that seems to work really well, and I think I'm going to be working on top of it, so I do want a bit of that texture. And I pulled out my palette pastels by Jane Davenport. I'm going to be using a lot of the warmer tones, just as like a background idea for the trees. And then we're gonna use the Jane Davenport Ladybug Daughters to do like dots. And I'm going for like a impressionistic, I think is the word I'm looking for. I don't know. Let's take this off. Like so. And then I also have a scrap piece on the side to wipe the excess off of my brayer so I don't get gunk everywhere. So yeah, basically, I mean, you've seen me do this before, so maybe you'll just wanna skip through this part and find whatever. I'm going to put the Ladybug Daughters aside and we're going to open this up and we're just going to lay down some pretty colors and I'm going to put on some tunes while I do this. So uh, enjoy the color edgishness of it all. Okay, so I've been sitting here for like, it's been six minutes. Do you think it's ready? I don't know, I'm bored and I didn't wanna have to like leave and come back. So I'm just gonna try. It doesn't have to be perfect since we are doing something impressionistic. You know, I just need some color on the background, whether it's splotchy or not, it doesn't really matter. I don't think, probably not, whatever. Um, but let's just take a sneak peek, just a sneak peek, mind you. Yeah, I think we're good. We're gonna go for it. We're going for it. I'm doing the peel and reveal, y'all. Ooh, it's a little splotchy, but that's all right. Let's just get this first part up. All right, and we're peeling. Ooh. Ta-da! A little curly on the end there. And now we have something to work with. So I'm gonna put some tunes back on, but before I do that, I'll explain what I'm gonna, you know, attempt to do. So I was going for a sky with, these are some leaves, stuff, this is the ground and what have ya. And then I'm gonna bring in some of these daughters and just, they're gonna be like the leaves and I'm gonna splotch them all up here and we're gonna see how it looks. It may look great, it may look awful, I don't know. We don't really care, I guess. 
And then I'm gonna bring in my watercolors, some more of these like neutral thing, like the browns. And we'll just do this, like some trees, stumpy branches and stuff. We're going for an autumnal walk in the woods. Let's go with that, that sounds like a good title. And then we're gonna splatter some gold all around. Just, you know, that speckly, dewy yumminess that you can get after a nice rainy day or an early morning walk. So I music back on for me, and I'm gonna just start dotting the hell out of this thing. It's gonna be fun. All right, so now that I've got that down, look, now I'm seeing puddles. Hold on, paper towel. So now that I have that down, I'm gonna dry this. I forget that it's on, uh, I forget that it's on gesso, so it's not gonna like sink into the page per se. So I'm gonna dab off all the puddles. And yeah, I blurred it a little bit at the bottom just to, I don't know, establish more of a solid ground coverage, but I'm gonna come in with watercolor now of these ones and we'll see what I can do there.
All right, you guys, this took a turn for the better, maybe? I don't know, I was going for your typical autumnal walk in the woods, but it kind of turned into a fairyland walk in the woods, which I am down with and here for. So yeah, it was not intentional, but you know, when you add neons, things get a little more exciting. So yeah, woohoo! Where is this? Oh, we are done with the favorite a season. Hold on, grabbing one of these to mark off our favorite season. Done. All right, you guys, thank you so, so very much for joining me. And uh, yes, I will see you tomorrow for favorite decade. And I mean, not to be biased, but I'm pretty sure the decade I was born in was one of the best. But we'll see, we'll see what I decide then. Take care, you guys. Uh, stay healthy. Stay cool. It's been a, quite a hot summer so far. Uh, yeah, and I will see you later. Bye.